You know, it was, a, it was their decision. Um, uh, they made it clear it was a flag or two, and uh, it is what it is. Um, and I have to deal with the uh, repercussions of it, and I'm missing this game. But I know my guys are going to go out there and they're going to handle business. Can you take us through the moment of what happened? We haven't had a chance to talk to you since then. I mean, did did you think it was Tyler? Did you real? Did you think? Did I realize it was Paul George who hit you in the back? And what was the immediate reaction there? I mean, it doesn't matter at this point. It was just the heat of the moment. Um, uh, you know, it just uh, the heat of the battle, man, just pushed me pushed me out of my comfort zone and uh, got out of my composure, and um, I didn't get the best of me. But now. <clears throat> Now I'm dealing with it, so, uh, you know. In retrospect, are there regrets knowing this is a huge game and that you can't be there for the guys? Or? No, I, I can't regret anything. I mean, it is what it is, bro. I mean, um, at the time it was a flagger one, and then they overturned it to a flagger two. So, um, like I said, I just got to deal with it the way it is. And, and uh, I'll be cheering my guys on. I'll be there with them in spirit. What are your teammates told you? Or they, did they come to you? Oh, they're very support? positive. Mm -hmm. yeah, they're, they're very positive, very supportive. Um, they've been in this situation before, and they know what it's going to take to, to win. What is it about Tyler thing? Hansbro that seems to get under uh, your skin or the, the team's skin? It's not just uh, one individual. It's, it's, just, uh, it's been a tough series. I mean, it's been a, a very, very strong battle in the paint and, and a physical battle all over the floor, so I mean, it's not just Tyler. Chris Tyler said that, it, this, that he was close to saying this history there. Did that come into play for you? Between you and him, he was saying this history. This there. history between me and him? Uh, he, he said that. Maybe, maybe. I think he was talking about the team. Man. Um, you know, I'm, I'm new to the East Coast, so um, no, it's no history. It just, like I said, it was the heat of the moment, man. And uh, it's been a it's been a strong series and a strong battle. How much do you are, regret uh, having to sit out a critical game where you guys can clinch? You know, I, I, like I said, I can't regret it. I just have to be positive. I mean, I can't sit here and dwell on it. Um, you know, I'm I'm definitely going to go hit up the weight room as soon as I get back to the hotel and get on that bike and you know stay on top of it and stay focused and watch some film and and uh, if need be get ready for Game Seven. But you know, the guys are going to go out there and and do what they can do to. To win this game. Did well, they say anything to you? Did you talk to any of your teammates? And once you found out, did they say anything to you with support or just talking about what yeah. happened? Yeah. yeah, they're very supportive. What you Does this change your temperament at all, Chris? I mean, you you sort of go out and just leave it all out there yeah. because of the flagrant scale and all that. Well, this temper your sort of birdman ish. No, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to change who I am and how I play. Mm -hmm. um, I just got to you know keep my composure a little bit better and and be smarter and make make the right decision next time something like that does happen. Um, but as far as changing the way I play and who I am, not, I'm not going to change it. Where will you be tonight? Where will you watch? Thanks, guys. Yeah.